something I never expected to do, but I'm extremely happy I actually did. Guys, say hello to our new Pause, quick break in today's video because today we have the last Legends collection of the entire year and we saved the best for last. Right now, the Legends R34 and Godzilla collection has just gone live. And when I say we saved the best for last, we saved the absolute best. This is the craziest, most detailed, awesome design that we have ever done. It couldn't have come at a better time with all the Godzilla hype right now. It's just so cool. We have the R34 with the Tokyo landscape and Godzilla towering over. It's so rad. So, quick run through. We have two new t-shirts. We have a black t-shirt right here with the front hit that is absolutely awesome. And then we have this really cool limited edition tie-dye shirt that we have done limited quantities on so if you guys want this shirt very limited head to the first link down the description box below that's where you guys can find absolutely everything and then right now i'm also rocking the hoodie with the same awesome godzilla and r34 design on the back of this as well so we have two new shirts a hoodie we have got some awesome accessories and something that I've kept kind of quiet from you guys is, these have been insanely requested, much asked about. These are an OG item that we did way, way back when we first started Legends. We're bringing back the OG racing harness wallet with the new Legends signature logo. We have two different colorways. Number one, we have this awesome blue, which is the one that I'm gonna be rocking. It is so sick. We've got the Legends hit out front, and then of course, do more inside. Tons of rooms for all your cards, cash, all the good stuff. These are sick. And we also have a black option for anybody that just wants to go kind of stealth. Christmas is coming up, an awesome stocking stuffer. And if you guys order now, this will arrive in time for Christmas. So two new shirts, we've got a hoodie, all the awesome accessories and so much more live on the site. Right now, do me a huge favor before we get into this awesome car reveal, pause, go to the first link down in the description box below and it'll take you guys directly to Legends where you can see everything that we have on the site. And I hope you guys enjoy. So with that being said, let's get right back into it. What is all this? So many snacks. <sighs> you know, I did not wake up expecting to be here. As you can see, we rolled out of bed. Believe me. What is, first of all, what are those? I can't believe we're doing this. So far from planned, but let me explain. What did I do? There's one car in particular that I've been really, really looking for. And uh, might have done a little something today. Now, today was so far from planned that I didn't even expect, like I'm, I rolled out, of, rolled out of bed, dropped my parents off at the airport and something popped up. With how hard this car is to even just find, I had to come at least take a look. And this was something that I've been deciding with Tiana for a very long time. You guys know that I really, really, really wanted a Supra, but there was one car that would deter me from buying a Supra. And I wanted to test drive it to see if it was going to be as good, not as good, or maybe even better. And that was my mistake number one, <laughs> letting him test drive it. And uh, today, I can, I can officially say it was better. <laughs> In, in my opinion, in, in my personal opinion, we're working some things, doing some paperwork stuff, and if, ever, if it all goes through, we got something special for you guys. Look at this color. Yeah, that's super cool. I know unpopular opinion, but I actually really like the new M3, M4, and M2 styling. I'm actually a massive fan of the big grill up front. This thing is so rad. And one of the harder ones to find is definitely the M3. I see a ton of M4s out here. Whoa. Interiors, gnarly, and it's manual. Pretty sick. I'm a fan. I'm I am too. Who's hating on it? I'm a fan. <laughs> I think they're really cool. We gotta go find our man Charles in here somewhere. He's gonna get us all squared away and show you guys what we got. He's actually pretty freaking crazy. So Charles, when we first got here, was telling us that there's only 50 of these made. It's some and only two in the U.S. Yeah. So I am a. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm not a BMW guy, as you guys know, but uh, apparently the owner of the dealership bought it for 750K. It's currently selling for around 2 million. Yes. 3.0 CSL. So M4 3.0 CSL, I guess is what it Look is. Look how cool that is. Yeah, it's super sick. I'm actually kind of a fan of like the old school BMW livery on it. I'm excited to dive myself into it. Oh, actually you guys don't know. You guys can't know yet, but pretty freaking sick. This is... 
it's either really bad or really good when it comes to you. And this, <laughs> and this song, I feel like it's it's really good. <laughs> this we did something very different that I didn't expect, but yeah, we'll just talk about it in the moment. Congratulations! I'm so pumped, guys. Yeah. Say hello to my new suit. Just kidding. G87 M2. Charles, dude, I yeah. can't believe it. I told you when I bought the Type R, I'd yeah. you'd eventually see me in an app. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect this. <laughs> this is kind of spur of the moment. Yes. Now, you guys know I've been really wanting a Supra. I hit up my man Charles and I was like, Charles, is there any possible way we can get an M2? And it's been hard, but I don't know how in the world somebody brought one back to him. And I had to come test drive it because I wanted to see the difference between the M2 and the Supra. We'll get into this more when I give you guys a walk around of the car. But we test drove the M2 completely unexpecting it, completely sight unseen. And I fell in love. The way the car drives, the transition mission how light it feels it's granted it's a very heavy car it feels insane and after driving the supra and driving this so closely i think the g87 m2 was the right choice for me and we are going to be building quote unquote the supra killer i'm so excited <laughs> all right let's get this thing back to the shop and let's give you guys a walk around Yes, oh, man, yeah, man, yes, dude, yes, I'm yes, so yes. pumped. Oh, yeah, no, Thank uh, you, man. Yeah, I can't so, believe we made this. I, I we know. just get lucky every time. Everything happens for a reason. Because you understand, there was another person trying to get the car at the same time. It was, head to head. It was crazy. And like I said, just unexpected. So head to head. I appreciate so, you, man. What's meant to be is meant to be. Exactly, so dude. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Are we, are we going to BMW <laughs> roll out right now? Oh! <laughs> I get to be a part of a rollout. Oh, geez. All right, let's get out of here, guys. I mean, so I don't want to give too much away just yet. We'll do a full walk around once we get to the shop here. But uh, this thing, it, oh, my truck is open. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, this thing is absolutely insane, guys. I am beyond stoked. This is my first ever BMW. Never owned a BMW before but i wanted to find something that was either obviously a supra or something comparable to the supra and this popped up and it was almost too good to be true so we had to come check it out and things just led to things and now we're here uh, oh my gosh here we go let's drive off we got the dct these paddles are absolutely insane i think you guys can guess what the plans are going to be for this but for now i'm just going to enjoy our first ride home and get to learn this car it feels insane let's put her in sport mode here oh it sounds so good dude the trans is insane Oh God, okay, this is going to be a fun and very different build for us here, but wow. What you think? So yes, it's actually happening. We are part of the BMW group now. We have a brand new 2023 M2. Now I know this is completely out of left field and quickly before we hop into it, I wanna explain a little bit. First off, this car is absolutely fantastic, but I kinda just wanted to do something different. And that's where the M2 came from, but not specifically M2. I've been looking at the M3s and M4s, and I've really been wanting to jump into a BMW, especially from a motorsports aspect. You guys know I love tracking and racing my cars. BMWs do that extremely well. Hence, you know, even the Supra. So my idea was I wanted to test drive a Supra. So I've seen the M3s, I've seen the M4s, but I've also seen a ton of buzz around the M2s. And I asked our guy Charles at our local BMW dealership to keep me in mind when they got an M2 in. Well, lucky enough for me, as I asked him that, somebody that day traded this car in and I was lucky enough to be able to make it there and test drive this thing and I instantly 
fell in love. But let me explain. I wanted to explore my other options in that same realm of the Supra. And lucky enough, I was able to find this G87 M2. My first modern Euro car. We do have the Porsche. You guys know that I love the Porsche. I kind of want to expand on that as well. And that's why I'm so excited about this. I will always love my Japanese cars, but it's exciting to finally hop into something else. Now, the G87 is a very, very exciting one. It's brand new. It's very hot right now. And it's very also i would say controversial not everybody is stoked on the looks it's very boxy very different kind of has a similar shape as the previous generation m2 but like i said more boxy now when i saw it online i definitely wasn't completely sold as well but seeing this car in person it really doesn't compare it's almost kind of like seeing the type r's on pictures versus in person in person this car looks beautiful it's aggressive it's got great body lines it just it looks mean and it looks the part now you're probably asking why an m2 over an m3 or m4 the m2 i feel like just suits me better it's compact it's rear wheel drive and from everything that i've read and done research on the m2 is the most raw out of the m3 and m4 for me i bought this car out of pure love for motorsports when i drove this car i could feel how raw and how aggressive everything felt it just feels robust the auto so i guess i should go ahead and just hop right into this too as i'm as i'm saying this i went ahead and got the eight speed auto i test drove an m3 that was manual before i actually bought my porsche i never really told you guys about that i test drove the m2 with the eight speed auto and this is exactly what i wanted it's fast it's precise it does what you tell it to do i knew when i was buying the m2 that i was going to track it and that i really wanted the auto uh, at least for me for tracking the cars nowadays with the automatic transmissions are absolutely insane especially with the Supra, that transmission is great. I drove this one and it's a night and day difference. The ZF transmission in this car blew my mind. Now, I've only had this car for about a week now and I wanted to live with it before I actually brought it to you guys. I wanted to have a little bit of experience with the car and just experience it for myself. And like I said, I am absolutely in love. So let's go ahead and just give you guys a walk around of the M2. Now, obviously this car is black, more specifically black sapphire metallic. And again, on the M2, the black just adds to the aggressiveness. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys one thing that I'm not super stoked on, but one of those where it kind of is what it is. These cars are very difficult to find, and I had to hop on the deal that I did find. With that being said, it wasn't that big of a deal to me, but it is a sunroof car. Unfortunately, this M2 did not come with a carbon roof, which really bums me out, especially because we're tracking it. But BMW's M Motorsports background, this thing excites me so much for that and to especially develop this car into something really amazing. The carbon roof would have been nice, but it is what it is. We can always find a workaround to that. Black Sapphire Metallic is absolutely awesome. One thing about the car, the brakes are absolutely insane. This is one of my favorite parts about the car. I absolutely am in love about almost every aspect of this car. Not only does it feel aggressive, feels amazing. It drives very nicely as well. And throughout owning this car and doing more and more stuff to it, we'll take you guys along for drives and modifications. We do have some stuff that we're stacking up and it's going to be a very exciting build. Uh, there's a lot of room for improvement with this car, which I'm very excited for. There are so many cool kits, lip kits, uh, accessories to make this car look awesome. But what I really want to focus on with this build is developing it on the motorsports side. Like I keep telling you guys, this car feels fantastic. And I really think that this car right here raised the bar as far as motorsports and track capable consumer cars. This car is incredible. I feel like you guys have probably seen enough of the exterior. Let's hop on the interior and uh, show you guys what we got here. This is probably the nicest part of the car. And what I'm super excited about, we hop in and it is just absolutely stunning. The new full, like almost panoramic display here. Let's go ahead and start the car for you guys. Oh, it's good. It's really, really good. Display is amazing. Even the digital dash, this part is absolutely freaking ridiculous. I mean, it would take probably an entire video to go through all of the options that you have with this display, but this is just the generic one. 
Uh, very, very nice, very motorsports oriented, especially with the heads up display, which you guys probably can't see right now, but it's awesome. The steering wheel is one of my favorite parts of the car. It's thick, the leather is quality, we have carbon, and also this car came with the optioned carbon paddle upgrade right here, which is really nice. Go ahead and put it into M mode for you guys here. I don't know if you can tell in video, but it is a noticeable difference when those valves do open. The car sounds fantastic. For those of you guys that don't know, go ahead and pop, oh, that was the trunk. Go ahead and pop the hood for you guys here. The M2 does come with the S58, just like the M3s and M4s with the twin turbo, the twin turbo six cylinder here. And of course, this car is bone stock. It's very lightly optioned, as you can see, but, but the possibilities are endless with this platform, which really excites me. Very, very clean, too. Let's uh, give you guys some revs real fast. I know it's getting dark. <laughs> So fantastic. I am so pumped. I mean, the car sounds great with the OEM exhaust, and I am so excited to show you guys what we have planned for the exhaust, but that's to come. Like I told you guys, we're stacking up parts, we're getting this thing ready, and my goal is to develop this car to go fast. Also, I kind of see it as like my big brother or my upgrade to my S2000. I miss tracking a rear wheel drive car. This thing is gonna be so much fun. I've learned so much with the FK. The M2 is something that I'm very excited to be on the forefront of and, and be able to build as things come out and to be able to make this car fast. And who knows where it'll take us. But I do know that I'm very excited to build a BMW on the channel, try something completely different in a completely different world and just have fun with it. This is entering me into a whole new world of cars and I'm super happy that the BMW M2 G87 is my first one in the modern Euro world. Now with all that being said, it's time to make this thing go fast, look cool, and just have fun with it. Show someone. Oh, oh my gosh. Show my shit. Come on, this is the... Better lighting. Come on. This is the... <laughs> Get it close. Get Can you guys guess what we're doing tonight? Unless you're a nerd like me, you you just won't get it. You, you guys know I love Godzilla. I am an absolute Godzilla nerd. I have an insane Godzilla collection in the house. I've watched Godzilla for years. We worked with Warner Brothers on Godzilla vs. Kong, but tonight this is different. You wanna know why? Why? Tell me more. For the first time ever, ever, a Toho Godzilla film is in America in theater. Which is crazy. So does that- That's the, on. that Toho is the original creator. Does that the, mean it's gonna be in Japanese? It's in Japanese, yes. Japanese, we're going to see Godzilla minus one. I got my Godzilla fin on, which by the way, all of this stuff actually just released today as you guys are watching this. Perfect timing, right? Like so much Godzilla hype with the new Godzilla vs. Kong movie out. We're going to see Godzilla minus one tonight. So tonight we are taking one of my Godzillas, the actual Godzilla of 30, to, to go see Godzilla and this is like a proper one. This is not just any Godzilla film. It's a Toho Japanese Godzilla film and it's gonna be the best one, I hope, of all time. I am super excited. So like I said, I think there's no better way to go see this movie than to actually take my Godzilla to go see it. Probably move all this stuff. This is very fitting for tonight. I should put a Godzilla sticker on the car. Which one should I do? Do the little Godzilla. This one? Yeah. This yeah. one? Okay, you guys can also get this on the site right now. We're gonna put this guy on the car. Okay, Here we go. very fitting. We're gonna put it right next to the Skyline Syndicate Godzilla. Look at that. Boom. That's so sick, look at this. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, we're gonna go see, actually we're gonna go get food first, then go see Godzilla. And I just had to take you guys along. There's, there's no way I'm gonna go see this movie and not show you guys. Oh man, there's actually nothing like seeing the GTR at nighttime. This thing is so rad. Okay, food, then Godzilla minus one. Hello, Paul. Yep, my own Godzilla atomic breath. I think we'll do a little third gear. That seems safe. Then. Oh my god! Here we go! <laughs> yes! This is such an awesome car! Damn it! Love this thing!
guys. Broke these bad boys out just for this. I'm so excited we made it. Let's go see Godzilla. Oh, I'm so ready. Nothing like a classic show coaster. Oh, but save them. Oh. There we go. Save it for the movie, come on. We're gonna remember this moment for the rest of my life. Okay, you wanna know what this tells me right here? Yes. This is gonna be two hours of me reading. <laughs> yes, that's exactly. <laughs> But Godzilla looks so amazing in this design. The poster that they did is really Sick. cool. Toho knocked it out of the park. I am so freaking pumped for a good Japanese Godzilla film. So, let me just, I'm gonna nerd out for a second. Japanese Godzilla is like, destroy everything Godzilla, okay? We're not friends with humans. We're destroying everything. That's, that's Japanese Godzilla. Let's, let's go. Oh yeah, best seats in the entire, look at this, right in the center, oh my god, look at me. This is what pure and complete happiness looks like, relaxed, ready for Godzilla. Look at this, yeah. I could sleep here. Well, you're gonna get a complete and comprehensive dut review of Godzilla Minus One. I'm so excited, I'm sorry, there's no one else in here, it's just us. Okay, see you guys after the movie. So good. Oh. oh my god. Stay and listen to the music. <laughs> Classic. Insane. 10, 10 out of 10. We got a debrief. We got a we got a debrief. I I just can't get over it. Like, oh. But now we have to go home and we're gonna do a full movie breakdown when we get home because that was just I also don't have a dome line here. Should we just do it right here? That was can people hear us over this car? Yes. That was the most epic Godzilla movie I've ever seen in my whole life. That, that, to its core, was Godzilla. That was a true Toho Godzilla film masterpiece. Now listen, my favorite Godzilla film is Godzilla 2000, but this one tops that. It is so good from beginning to end. I give it, I never give 10 out of 10s. This is a 10 out of 10. Absolute 12, 10 out of 10. 12 out of 10, truthfully, for all all my girlies out there, I thought I was gonna be annoyed having to read subtitles for two hours, and you didn't even notice you were doing it. It was such a good movie. It was so fantastic. And like, fantastic. it went by so fast, because you were enjoying it so much. The characters, oh, God's- the act, it was excellent. The, the, the Godzilla- The Godzilla reveal. Yes. Uh, 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10, guys, if you haven't seen it, it might be too late by the time this video goes live, but you'll have to get it when it comes out on DVD because that's going straight to the collection. Jeez. Oh, oh. Well, definitely worked out wearing the Godzilla socks tonight. <laughs> Absolute success. Godzilla also made it home. Very, very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed our little adventure and I hope you guys are are excited for the BMW. This is the reveal video for them too. So they just found oh. out. So I hope you guys now are excited. You know. Now you know, but uh, there will be more adventures with this GTR as well. So I hope you guys are excited for the M2, something new, something different, and I hope you liked our little adventure to go see Godzilla because it was fantastic. If you guys haven't seen it, you definitely should. But we're gonna go ahead and end today's video. Anything else I should say? Oh yeah, um, the brand new Legends drop has just gone live. So if you guys- Look at all your <laughs> chocolate from the movies and popcorn. What Sorry, are you but doing? Sorry, buddy. The, uh, the new stuff will not come with all of my crumbs. So check it out if you guys haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below. Hashtag... Gojira. Gojira, that's a good one. <laughs> Hashtag Gojira. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, please. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.